What game engine does Ubisoft use? Ubisoft is one of the most popular and known video game publishers. They are responsible for popular video games such as Assassin's Creed, one of the most popular games ever made. The game is so popular that it is still being released today, with the newest addition to the family being Mirage, confirmed for release in 2023, as well as other titles. Ubisoft was also behind other very popular titles, and in this video, we will take a deep dive into what helped Ubisoft bring these legendary games to light. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Anvil Anvil is a proprietary game engine developed by Ubisoft. Before becoming Anvil, this engine was called Semeter. Ubisoft used it at the time for the development of their very first installment of the Assassin's Creed franchise alongside other games. After that, Ubisoft took that engine and improved it to become Anvil. From there, the company used it for the development of their Assassin's Creed titles among other games, starting with Assassin's Creed 2 in 2009. We all know how popular that game was, even surpassing its predecessor, making it the perfect sequel. So what changed? Let's take a look at the newly added features in the engine. A full night and day cycle, enhanced draw distance, Far Cry 2's vegetation technology, improved lighting, reflection and special effects, a new cloth system, and a new AI and NPC navigation system. This shows how the developers learned from all their past mistakes with the first installment and used that knowledge to make an engine best suited for the game they are looking to make. As the years went by, what Ubisoft did was improve the engine from time to time to keep up with the improvements in games over the years. At the heart of Assassin's Creed 3 lies a radically redesigned game engine we call Anvil Next. In 2012, Anvil became Anvil Next and powered several Assassin's Creed games from the third installment until Rogue. After that came Anvil Next 2.0 in 2014 and then Ubisoft Anvil in 2020. These two engines powered Assassin's Creed games as they came out, respectively. The engine also powered other games in its lifetime such as Prince of Persia and Tom Clancy. It is also confirmed to be the engine powering the upcoming Mirage and the Sands of Time remake. Over all these years, the engine had plenty of updates, some of which are pre-baked global illumination, reflection mapping, volumetric fog, dynamic weather, and dynamic foliage, to name a few. Another way the engine was being updated with Assassin's Creed and similar games in mind was that the world now supports larger land masses, bigger buildings, and building interiors that can be accessed without loading screens. Well, that was the hefty history of Anvil. Let's move on to another engine, shall we? Disrupt. Let's come to another very popular Ubisoft game, Watch Dogs. What does Watch Dogs have to do with Disrupt? You guessed it, the engine helped power it. Not only that, but it was actually developed specifically for Watch Dogs. Unlike Anvil, Disrupt was made from scratch for the most part. It was also made to support cross-gen and cross-play. I've never seen anybody really try to do this in a, in, a, in a video game before because it's very complicated to make a, a hand go into a pocket in a believable way and have the cloth move with the pocket because we have simulated cloth on the characters. When asked about the features of this new engine, Francis Boivin, 3D programming team lead at Ubisoft, said in an interview with Dark Side of Gaming, quote, The Disrupt engine uses an aggressively multi-threaded renderer, running on fully deferred physically-based rendering pipeline with some technological twists to allow for more advanced effects. We support hundreds of dynamic lights, dozens of high-resolution shadow casters, dynamic environment reflections, and global illumination in a fully dynamic time-of-day environment. Our setup also allows for screen space effects that are usually not compatible with deferred rendering, such as skin subsurface scattering, anisotropic specular highlights, and hair shading. We also combine several camera-based and post-production post effects to add to the realism of the final scene." End quote. Ubisoft Ubisoft spent four years working on the engine and did so along the development of the game, allowing for the creation of an engine suited exactly for what they needed in Watch Dogs. Dunia Engine in 1999, Crytek used an engine called CryEngine to create a demo. 
which later was developed into a full game. That game was Far Cry. Later on, Ubisoft took Cry Engine and modified it to become Dunia Engine and used it to develop the second installment of Far Cry. Some of the new features included were a realistic physics engine, destructible environments, and a weather system. In order to make a new and improved Far Cry game, Far Cry 3 to be exact, Ubisoft had to make changes and updates to Dunia Engine, and thus came Dunia Engine 2. Some of this engine's newly added features are global illumination, vegetation, fire simulation, destruction, vehicles, systemic AI, wildlife, weather, day and night cycles, and so on and so forth. With Far Cry 6, the latest Far Cry installment, Dunia was improved and made to support ray tracing and fidelity FX, and that was that for Dunia. Snowdrop Ubisoft Snowdrop is another of Ubisoft's proprietary game engines. As Anvil was used mainly for Assassin's Creed, Disrupt for Watch Dogs, and Dunia for Far Cry, Snowdrop similarly was focused on Tom Clancy games, but powered several other games. This engine was developed in collaboration with Massive Entertainment. The engine can deploy games to a plethora of platforms such as PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and Series X and S, Windows, and Nintendo Switch. Some of the features of the engine include a node-based scripting system, AI, mission scripts to UI, day and night cycles, global volumetric lighting, procedural destruction, and an advanced particle system and visual effects. Other than powering Tom Clancy's The Division 1 and 2 and being used in the development of the upcoming Tom Clancy Splinter Cell remake, the engine also powered Starlink, Battle for Atlas, Rocksmith Plus, and the upcoming The Settlers, and an untitled Star Wars game. And that was that for Ubisoft and their many engines. We hope you learned something new and valuable today. Let us know what you thought in the comments section below. See you around!